Okay. You as a right brain, you have a more future oriented, we could say a more evolved, not better, just different kind of brain body system. Your brain body system is designed to be passive. So you're storing everything that has ever been, you've ever been exposed to that you've been taking in. And it's not up to you to decide what or how you store, how you link it. Things are just drawn out of you without you having to actively process things as it's coming into you. So your brain body system, again, this is where your cognition is found, your body's hardware. It's the design sun and earth tone in the unconscious side of your body graph. So when you're passive, it's really important not to judge yourself by your activity levels. Really important to just allow your passive brain system, which requires less food in order for it to process and be present and available. Your active brain body system is different. They need lots of food. You as a passive brain, when you're operating correctly, you'll notice your intake of food actually goes down. So you can eat less food than you think you need, wait, and then eat more if you're still hungry, let's say 10 or 20 minutes later. Smaller plates is the key here because it kind of tricks your brain to think that you're actually eating more. If you just move to a smaller plate, still fill up your plate, but you're actually eating less because it's smaller. For me, I use bowls too. Small plates, small bowls, they're so cute. To be able to eat less food and not eat on autopilot, but be really um, processing as I'm taking in the attentiveness to my body's comfort level with how much food I've taken in. Because what happens is if you go to the point of fullness and beyond, especially when you overfeed your right brain body system, you end up with problems in the physical body. As an example, more weight. So you carry a lot of extra material in your form principle is how raw would la language that. You get fat and that simply slows you down and it can be very unhealthy for you. You're, we already tend to hold more liquid weight. We just carry more um, liquid in the body than the left brain. But also what it diminishes when you're carrying too much weight, diminish, diminishes your ability for your body to be attracted to exercising and equipped for proper body mechanics, proper movement. If you're carrying on an extra 20, 30, 40 pounds, it feels very uncomfortable compared to where your body actually wants to be. So if you're overeating, you're stuffing yourself with too much food, be really careful about that and honor your authoritative process. Each of you are going to have a different way of processing what you're taking in. You're maybe looking through things with this inner vision, or you're feeling into the food, or you're touching the food. Now, how the food touches you from the inside out you're very, very sensitive, all of you with the right brain, to frequencies, to chemicals, to pesticides. So this is the uh, kind of human being that I would recommend that you really be careful about what you're putting into your body. Really be sensitive, really be patient and feel into things and weigh things out as far as how does the food make you feel in your body as you've taken it in. So the right brain, Ross says, the being that is going to be a right dependent variable, one of the first things beyond strategy and authority is the importance of primary health system. I don't think that I can stress it enough that these dependent variables have to absolutely need to change their dietary process. So they have to, they absolutely need to change their dietary process. As I mentioned to you at the beginning of class, it's obvious to me that those that are part of this dependent variable have had very, very, very severe food conditioning because we are more sensitive to being conditioned by taking things in that are not correct for us because we're so sensitive. So you can think sensitive when you see a right brain body system.